easy. When you log into channel.tvunetworks.com, if you don't have a sign in, it'll give you the opportunity to sign in your name and email. We'll give you a 15 day free trial. But creating a, a channel as simple as easy as hitting this in the workbench, naming the channel. So we're going to call this TVU channel test. We're going to select the format and any of the formats that we support, uh, any of the HD formats and frame rates that you need for, for global distribution are available here. I'm going to select 1080. I'm going to pick a, a channel cover. I'm just going to pick an image I've got ready at hand here. Now I have a channel cover so I can differentiate because I can spin up multiple different kinds of channels per account. I can also select the region. So I wanted to, to do this in US East. And if I need individual folders that are in my S3 environment or are connected to TVU Drive, I can immediately select those folders that I need and the broadcast uh, time of day that I want to uh, utilize for my, for my air clock. I hit that, I hit save, and you can see that I now have a channel. I enter that channel and you can see this, this error message, the background is being prepared. So one of the ways that we're addressing the channel so that you can immediately start is it takes about 90 seconds to spin up the, the compute in uh, AWS. But while that's happening, you now have the ability to immediately get started with uh, taking videos that are in your S3 environment, dropping them into the schedule, building a, a block of time. You can even come in here with live events and say, I wanna take uh, uh, TVU Anywhere device if you have it paired or any of your live events, but you can also preview the media immediately too and say, okay, I want to show this sports game. When I click it, I can immediately see, yep, that's the file I want. I can look into this file. I can change the playback speed. I can QC it real quick just to make sure it's going to work. And it's the file that I needed to play. And I can immediately drag that in. And so from there, all I have to do is move this uh, Zoom window out of the way, go live. And you can see I can add a plethora of different uh, output sources, whether those are my social media accounts, whether it's an HLS, if I want to send an ISSP stream out, I can do that as well. Um, I can do Pro MPEG, SRT, Caller and Listener, and Zixi. So we try to support and you can see in the in the social media accounts if I if I create those and add those, there's a plethora of even more of those that I can uh, individually address. I can have individual quality levels, individual um, output resolutions into each of those uh, environments, and I'm up and running, and the channel is live. So uh, one of the things I wanted to to take a little bit more time to dig in because it's just that easy to really get on air and uh, and have your channel going in a matter of uh, seconds. So once I've got that done. One of the things I'm just going to come out here and do from my workbench, you can see I have this channel up and running, right? That we, we just that we just created. And I also have a channel that I uh, I created a little earlier today that's up and running. And I can hit enter here, and I have this channel in a live event, and uh, that'll draw itself out on screen. And um, I'll show you some some very interesting things that you can do with live with TVU channel once you've configured your channel. So um, let me go to uh, my producer. So what I've done here is I've taken um, I've taken TVU Producer, which is our cloud production platform, and I've got uh, my co-host Oriol, who's in the uh, in the party line, party line, which is kind of like a broadcast grade version of Zoom that we can use to to bring people into a production, have a uh, have a conversation with them, and that whole output of this production can be sent directly to um, an ISSP output into TVU channel as a live event. So I can uh, I can schedule that live event or I can even come into my live sources and you can see I've got a couple of TVU Anywhere um, just paired. It's very easy to pair live sources. You just hit any IP source that you want to bring in. Again, almost any IP streaming format is accepted as a live input. And then I can also say I want to pair a TVU Anywhere device. And from the TVU Anywhere app, all you have to do is scan that QR code from TVU Anywhere and that device is now available to be taken live. So if you have a reporter on the street, or you, you need to, to, to take a quick hit from any kind of uh, user generated content device, any TV anywhere source, even if that's a computer using our app, it's very easy to connect those together. And I literally can just click this. I don't support preview when it comes to the ISP, but I have, uh, I have my iPad sitting here right beside me and I will take that as a breaking source. And then you will see that source come to air. And now I am, while I'm giving this talk, have my iPad with the center time face camera following and tracking me for a live hit that I may want to do. And then when I'm done with that environment, I can immediately uh, go back to the playlist or I can grab media from, from videos that I have and I can schedule that media here. And when that media falls in, I can even take, take next directly to uh, VOD content that I'm playing. And that is the playout environment. 
Um, the other element of a TVU channel that we really believe enables a next generation of being able to manually schedule very, very um, complex channels easily is the ability to do that in, a, in the scheduling tab. So when I'm in the scheduler tab, I still have the full capability to come in and uh, preview all my assets and to look at uh, you know, files, make sure that those files are right. Um, but I can also take my live events and I can say, I want to schedule a hit with my iPad later on today. I can drop that directly in there. Uh, I can bring any of my media assets, which are all connected to either our S3 environment that you can um, configure, or we can directly connect to your own bucket that you can plug into our environment. And uh, I can start to uh, easily just build schedules across multiple days, dropping elements in there. And then the real power of this is if I want to be able to do things like add things to an event, I have the ability to add all kinds of different elements to events from whether it's a you know, start message of a study at the beginning, additional reference media, underplay clips. So if I wanted to do a study um, splice at a certain time for an ad avail, I can also select I want that study splice to have a certain clip and I can bring that clip and associate that in. I can add I can add those on the fly. I can select that I want to uh, inside of this uh, inside of this event that I want to do a secondary record, and then I can even schedule that secondary record for re-air after this one is done. I can add additional information. I can associate various different devices with uh, that are uh, that are part of these environments, and really easily both delete days that I uh, that I I want to move and change, or duplicate days and create schedule templates. So I can go from easily. Uh, bringing in files, creating uh, a live output and having that available and accessible on uh, TVU channel. And I can even bring whole schedule templates of days or weeks um, if I'm doing like a wheel-based channel that I can just have airing very easily without the need of traffic or we can con connect to almost any traffic environment through VXF. So it's just a very easy to operate, easy to organize and configure um, channel environment that allows you to spin it up both for live VOD content and in DR situations and uh, create a channel that used to take weeks and weeks of time and training and, uh, and configuration, we can now do in a matter of seconds in the cloud